Hey everyone, welcome to our first episode of our new series called The Inside Scoop, where we will be getting to know different members of Back to Bach. And the first series will feature our directors of global operations, and our first one is Teddy Yu. So please give Teddy a warm welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. <laughs> and Teddy, can you um, briefly introduce yourself? Yes. Um, hello, I'm Teddy. I play piano. I used to play violin. <laughs> um, I am currently a piano performance major at Rice, and I am a sophomore there right now. So, I want to ask, actually, when did you start Back to Bach, and what made you interested in joining? <clears throat> I joined in fall of 2017 and I was in the Baltimore, Maryland region, which was at that time directed by Sharon Lee, another fellow doko. Um, she actually posted on her Snapchat story <laughs> where she snapped me or something back then that she was at like a back to block performance and then I was very interested. And so I asked her about it and she, of course, because she was recruiting members, she was like, of course you can join. And then when I heard your guys' submission, I was super excited. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, and what would you say is like the most memorable or fun or interesting moment so far for you? Um, I think it was my very first rehearsal with the Baltimore, Maryland region. Yeah, so right now I am part of the Houston, Texas region, but um, I think that very first rehearsal, I knew some people, but I didn't know everyone in the region, and I came with like my own ensemble transcription of Beauty and the Beast, like one good. Oh, thing. yeah, and it was like my first arrangement, and like everyone really liked it, even people I didn't know, and that was just really, that just showed like the supportive community here. So. That was really nice. Actually, can I ask, what was the instrumentation of the arrangement? Oh, you it was a bow, um, I think cello, flute, and then piano. Oh, fun. And then I, I, well, so for the cello part, I also like would improv with it and play piano. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> awesome, awesome, so fun. Yeah. Actually, I should have asked earlier, you mentioned that you play both piano and violin. How did you choose both instruments? How did you decide on playing two instruments? Yeah, I don't know. That was a hard decision, honestly, because um, Rice actually doesn't really encourage double majoring, which I totally understand because it's hard. <laughs> but. <laughs> Um, piano was my first instrument. I started in like kindergarten, so five, four-ish. Now I'm like 19, so probably like 15, 16-ish years. I feel like the stereotypical Asian mom thing to do <laughs> is to start on piano. And then I wanted to explore a little more, so in first grade, I tried the violin, but I didn't take it seriously until like third or fourth grade. So I learned the violin for like 11-ish years. And then, yeah, I decided to just go with piano later. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's pretty safe to say that during this pandemic and quarantining, we've all had some extra time to explore different things and try out new hobbies. So can you tell us about some of yours? Yes, so I recently got an iPad, so I decided to get Procreate and I've been, you know, exploring sticker designing, which is really cool. And I also really enjoy hiking and walking outside. I think it's nice to do that and it's refreshing when you're just so um, indoors all the time, but of, of course with a mask and socially distanced. And I've also started to work out, um, which some, is something I never did before quarantine. So I guess that's really good. Keeping, keeping healthy, I like that. <laughs> Can you describe your favorite meal to us? I have a lot. Uh, I really like sushi. Oh, yes. In particular, like anything salmon and avocado is really good. Yes. Um, I'm also a huge fan of Italian food, so I really like chicken, oh. which is like chicken and 
like pasta and then I like margarita pizza and oh, hungry. <laughs> and then okay I could be pronouncing this so wrong spam soupy or whatever it's just like spam on top of rice oh yes 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 yeah. it's shaped in a really cute way am i thinking of the right thing i think you are yeah it's really cute it's so cute yeah <laughs> um if you were to be stranded on an island for one month mm -hmm. i know this is really difficult but you have to only choose three things what would you take with you at least a keeper at least an electronic keyboard i think oh this is really hard <laughs> sure and can i say my ipad would that count on your phone okay my ipad and but what is it let's sit well, you know what let's take out electronics because okay, okay let's okay. just let's just assume that there is no, because on an island there wouldn't be Wi Fi. Then can I bring up the power? Sure. Okay, but that, that would be considered okay. one. Yeah, let's not do that. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, my. I opinion. guess, I guess this, I guess this would be a serious tech detox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, then I'll probably bring a camera, um, my skateboard. Did oh, you skateboard! Uh, I started during quarantine, but I definitely want to improve. <laughs> but yeah, I think that would be fun. And then... Oh, is there any things I can think of right now? Oh, I don't know. Maybe... Okay, well, because I'm Christian, I think I should make a Bible. <laughs> There's a Bible on my desk right now. <laughs> yeah. Those were probably really random answers. <laughs> Those are great choices. So, <laughs> alrighty. So, we're going to actually end this segment um, with a little game. And it's, I'm sure you guys all know, it's two truths and a lie. So, Teddy will be giving three statements. And you guys have to guess which one is the lie. And she won't be giving out the answer. And you guys will have to comment down below to take a guess. And tomorrow on our Instagram page, we will be posting the answer. So stay tuned for that and join the fun and comment below. And yeah, the answer will be revealed tomorrow. So Teddy, can you just briefly give your three statements? Yes, so I like food, so I'm just prefacing this. All of these are about food. <laughs> so, um, okay, number one, I once ate a whole pizza by myself. Number two, um, I don't like cilantro at all. And three, I'm actually allergic to a lot of fruit. hard and I'm, tr I'm trying to guess myself okay so guys comment below and check out our instagram page tomorrow for the answer okay so this ends our first episode of the inside scoop and thank you guys so much for watching and for tuning in and yeah stay tuned for our next episode with our next dogo and yeah thank you so much teddy again for being our first one it was a lot of fun and it was really great getting to know you more yeah. and yeah we'll see you guys at the next episode <laughs> <laughs>